Hey everybody, it's John. I had such good reaction to the math magic of Mr. B that I figured that I would do some kind of a math follow up video. I'm not a math teacher. I teach, but I'm not a math teacher. And um, I'm not a mathematician. I just have always been um, intrigued by math. I think it's really cool the way things work out. So this is a card trick that I learned when I was a kid. And it's not really a trick because it's mathematical and it works out every time. I don't know why it works out, just like with the last video, I don't know why it works, but it does. But if anybody out there wants to let me know why, why it works the way it does, I'd, I'd be more than happy to know. But anyways, you start out with a regular card, a deck of cards, 52. Make sure they're all there, otherwise it won't work. And you just start by turning over the top card, and this is, in this case it's a 6. And then you count up to 13 from whatever that card is. So in this case, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Turn it over, turn the pile over, and continue through the rest of the deck that way. So this would be 12, jack is 11, queen is 12, king is 13, and ace is 1. So we have 12, 13, 12, 13, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 10, 11, 12, 13, 11, 12, 13, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13, 10, 11, 12, 13. In this case it worked out exactly perfect. I got rid of all of the cards, but that won't always happen. Sometimes you'll end up with one or two cards left over that you can't complete a, a count of 13 to. Um, in that case, you just set them aside and you're going to use them again later. But this time it worked out perfectly. Now what you're going to do is you're going to ask the person that you're doing the trick with or showing the trick to, to pick three piles, any three piles. And since I don't have anyone to hear with me, I'm going to pick this pile, this pile, and this pile. So we'll go like, put these three up here. We're going to take all of the rest of the cards, put them together, and if we had any cards left over from when we were making the piles, we would now add them to these. We then ask the person to turn over the top card on any two piles. So in this case, I'll turn over here and here. So we have a 10, and this would be a 12, because it's a queen, so that would be 22. You add them together, and then for some reason you add 10. I don't know why, but it, it, it doesn't work unless you do. So we have um, 22 plus 10 is 32, so I'm going to count down 32 cards in the cards that I have left over. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Then you count how many cards you have left. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I have 6 cards left. That means this last card that's not turned over must be a 6. And it is. It's a 6 of diamonds. I don't know why it works, but it works. I'll do it again very quickly in case you missed anything the first time. All the cards together. Just do a quick shuffle so nobody thinks that I have them like stacked or anything. Okay, and we're just going to start with the top card, turning it over. Seven, seven of diamonds. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 11, 12, 13. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so this is a case where I didn't have 13, so I'm just going to set these aside for a minute and ask, pick the three piles. We'll go here, here, and here, so I'll pick up these. I'm going to take and put these with the cards that I didn't use before, I'll set them aside, turn over the top card on any two piles. We'll go here and here. 8 plus 7 is 15. Plus 10 is 25. Count down 25 cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 
One card left. This has to be an ace. And it is. Nice. Let me know if you if you let me know if you know why it works. Thanks for watching.